the process by which we transplant bone marrow is very similar whether you're transplanting a child or an adult. We're fundamentally taking healthy bone marrow and putting it back into the individual to replace their diseased bone marrow. But interestingly, kids perform differently. Kids tend to do a lot better. Uh, it's in part that kids in general are quite healthy. Uh, they can tolerate what is otherwise a very toxic procedure. But it also appears that the kids have a more immature immune system. Uh, and so they tend to have fewer complications of when the marrow comes into them and creating problems like graft versus host disease. Uh, the kids also have parts of their immune system which are immature and can allow the new bone marrow to take residence and emerge in an educated manner so that they actually can regrow their immune system in a productive way. Adults, unfortunately, uh, someone like me perhaps in their late 40s, have already suffered the ravages of decades of life and environmental insults and disease and infection. And when you go through this very, very uh, toxic procedure of high-dose chemotherapy and bone marrow engraftment, oftentimes the adults just don't do quite as well. Nevertheless, uh, we have gotten so much better at minimizing the risks of irradiation, of treating infections, and controlling graft-versus-host disease, we have tremendous success even in adults.